So next part of the discussion, continuation of chemical equation. Now we are going to study something about the balancing of chemical equation. Balancing of chemical equation. In this balancing of chemical equation, first of all, we should before going to the balancing of chemical equation, we should study on what basis a chemical equation is actually balanced. A chemical equation to balance a chemical equation, the chemical equation or a chemical reaction has to depend on the principle that is law of conservation of mass law of conservation of mass when you go for law of conservation of mass this law of conservation of mass is supported by the fact that law of that according to the law of conservation of energy atoms are neither create atoms or molecules are neither created nor destroyed that is law of conservation of energy already we know so that law of conservation energy is justifying the law of conservation of mass in a chemical equation in this chemical equation according to the law of conservation of mass whatever the number of atoms whatever the number of atoms or molecules or the formula units which are undergoing a chemical change in the reactant site for the formation of products the number of atoms or molecules in the reactant site must be always equal to the number of atoms or molecules in the product site suppose you take one example <coughs> that means according to the law of conservation of mass that is total mass total mass of molecules or formula units total molecules or total mass of molecules or formula units in the reactant site in the reactant site in the reactant site is always equal to total mass total mass of molecules total mass of molecules or formula units units in the product side this is the meaning of law of conservation of mass so if that is the case here because we are using one word in particular formula units in the reactant side and formula units in the product side actually what do you mean by a formula unit this particular word may you may not be that much familiar but actually formula unit means the meaning of formula unit usually a formula unit is can be it can be an ionic molecule it can be an ionic molecule it can be a covalent molecule If you go for ionic molecule, all ionic molecules, all ionic molecules generally, and if the molecule is ionic in the form of formula unit, then these ionic molecules they ionize, they ionize, ionize to give ions. If you go for covalent molecules, they do not ionize, they do not undergo, they do not ionize. So ions are not formed here. So, for example, if you consider NaCl, NaCl, if you consider, it is one formula unit, one formula unit of NaCl, one formula unit of NaCl is actually equal to, it can give one Na plus ion, sodium cation and also one Cl minus ion. If you go for the next formula unit, one formula unit one formula unit of magnesium bromide if you take then it can give one formula one magnesium cation which is bivalent and uh, two bromide ions and each bromide ion is monovalent indirectly one formula unit of ionic molecule in NaCl is giving two ions one sodium cation and one chloride anion one formula unit of magnesium bromide that is formula of magnesium bromide formula unit of magnesium bromide 
the chemical formula of magnesium bromide is MgBr2 and it is giving 3 ions 1 magnesium bivalent cation and 2 bromide Br minus ions here number of ions formed are 3 ions are formed and here the number of ions formed are 2 ions but what if you are taking if you are taking say glucose one formula unit okay you take one formula unit one formula unit of water okay if you take under ordinary conditions under ordinary conditions the water molecule it cannot because pure water is a pure water is a bad electrolytic conductor under ordinary conditions okay this water molecule will not ionize so therefore one formula unit of water is equal to one molecule of water similarly if you go for one formula unit one formula unit of glucose glucose molecule it is because it is a pure covalent compound because it is a pure covalent compound it is non polar compound glucose molecule will never ionize and it cannot give any ions that's why one formula unit of glucose can be considered as one molecule of glucose one molecule of glucose